<clears throat> okay, Akumaldo Crypto here. This is gonna be my first Elliot Wave explained video. So I'm gonna cover all the, the basics and advanced uh, the advanced part of the Elliot Wave principle. Okay. So before anything, let's let let's understand one thing. When we look at the way, when we look at a chart like this, this is daily EOS. We see that we can uh, we can draw lines here following the 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 waves, right? See. So this is this is a really good exercise, okay? From the top to the bottom, top to the bottom, top bottom, top bottom, top. Okay. Why? Why, why would you do that? Because it's interesting to see that you have patterns. No movement is no move. No movement is done without a correction. No movement. It's done without a correction for either ways, okay? When we have this is a trend, this is a movement, and then we have a correction. So this is the first thing that we need to understand when talking about Elliott waves. Elliott waves, you have a motive impulse wave, but it's not because it's an impulse that it's going up, okay? That's the first m misconception, okay? A motive impulse wave is a one of the types of five waves structure okay so we have one two three four five here okay one two three four five yeah we have five waves going up we are gonna see this in a lot of graphs in a lot of different uh, uh, stocks or crypto whatever and you have this five waves structure. You can see here one, two, three, four, five. Oh, but yes, if you start counting, of course, you have some rules when you count because in this case here, you're gonna see that uh, Elliott waves is about fractals, self similarities. Inside of each of those lines here, going up, in this case, going for the trend okay this is the trend it's going for the trend and when we go against the trend we have a correction it's pretty self-explanatory okay so for each of those waves going for the the the, the trend we're gonna have five waves structure inside of it okay and then three corrections three motive one two three four five three for corrections motives one, two, three four five oh that's so nice so we have this waves within waves within waves we have this complex pattern here okay so um and this is the the when we call it motive impulse wave we have some rules, okay? Some rules such as wave three, this wave here in the middle cannot be the shortest, okay? Don't need exactly to be the longest, but it it often is the the mo the it's the most likely wave to be extended is wave three, and it cannot be the shortest, so it can't be shorter than wave five and one. It can be short. It can be shorter than than uh, either of one, either of either wave one or five. But to, it can be the shortest. Okay. So what happens is that usually when we have uh, we have some examples here of uh, let me use the book because we have some examples of extension that explains way better. Sorry again. This is me looking for the the places to show you guys but uh, we'll see see this is all of those uh, all of those examples here we have motive waves motive impulse because we are going to discuss the motive diagonal in a in a second 
but there, there are only two kinds of motor waves diagonal or either diagonal or impulse when we have an impulse we have an extension so it can be wave one most of the time it's gonna be the third wave this is when we have the last wave wave five extension and then we really rare case of extension not identified okay so one of those waves needs to be extended and not needs to but most of the time like 95 percent of the time is going to be extended okay and uh so let, let's see some fibonacci relationships to it okay from wave one swing getting our fib retracement from the lowest point to the highest point uh here we have my fibonacci tool okay i use this as a golden pocket the 61865 then we have those levels here as well this is the sweet spot for our rave 2 okay so if you have a one two three four five structure going up and you want to see you have some kind of predictative predict predicative pro oh my god for <laughs> predictable power sorry you would look to start buying here at the wave two for instance if you want to go long okay this is the relationship that we have with uh, between wave one and two the relationship between wave two and four like we have here from the bottom wave two to the top wave three okay the relationship that we have for wave four is like 50 percent 30 80 20 50 percent okay of this retracement this is the perfect okay this is the perfect example of a wave uh motive impulse wave structure okay so then if we go here and use our fib extension from the bottom of wave one to the top and then we extend it to wave two this is the level that we would expect 16618 175 i don't know if you can if you guys can see it then let me okay this is the level that we expect for a wave five for a wave three i'm sorry uh so then we would put it like here okay a little bit higher doesn't matter okay let me take this off okay then we would have our wave four and our wave five okay this is this is an extension relationship okay and then remember we have here our log scale <laughs> from the bottom of wave two to the third then we will have this as our wave four and then our wave five so wave waves five we have personality for each one of those uh, waves as i said oh there it is the nuclear the nuclear siren <laughs> oh my goodness that's a bad taste for a siren jesus sorry so this is my wave five and wave five can be can can go uh pardon me this siren is making me crazy so it can be shorter than wave three Okay, so we have we might have a truncation here. That's they call truncation. When you have the wave five that goes, that fails to go beyond the price level of wave three. Okay, and using our fib extension here, we can from the bottom of wave two to wave three project to four. So here we have some levels. Let me show one hundred percent. 618 is a good level for waves five it can extend like 127 20 percent of wave three okay so another common target okay so wave five can be uh as as long as wave three in this case or a bit higher right a bit longer because wave three in this case is not 100% of wave one, so it's longer than wave one. So wave five can be longer than wave three in this case. So we would have the extension here. Okay, as we are in log scale, the 
the, 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 it, it doesn't look like it's the same size because it's logarithmic okay and you the price is not exactly the same as the it, it's the the the, the percent when we when you see 100 percent here is the amount of the percentage of a uh, uh in relationship to wave three okay it, it seems uh smaller but it's not in price okay okay um <clears throat> so let's let me give you guys some examples right so in this book here we have the incorrect counting one two three four we have uh, uh, incorrect counting here why because wave three is the shortest in here wave one is the longest but we don't we, and wave three is the shortest because wave five is going uh above the price section of wave three so here we have the correct counting, the correct motive impulse wave, okay? So when you have a third wave extension, like they say, one, two, one, two, the fractal nature that I was talking about, okay? Wave, five waves of primary degree, one, two, three, four, five, one, then we have a two, you see? The fractal nature, this is so interesting. The truncation that I just described to you guys, that it was the fifth wave that failed to go to challenge the level of wave three. Oh, pardon me, like this, okay? And uh, it, it can happen. Yes, of course, this can happen for both ways, okay? Uh, up or down. I just gave you guys an example going up. Um, then we have the diagonal. What is a diagonal, guys? It's a different structure that we find in, in specific places. In this case, is the in the fifth wave, the final wave, this one here, okay? When we are gonna have five waves structure inside of this fifth wave, but what happens is that this motive, in, mo, this motive wave is diagonal, not impulsive. Okay, the name changes and we would have a structure that is like a wedge, okay? Oopsie, oh, sorry guys. It would look like something like this, okay? And you can draw a triangle. You can draw a, a wedge shape, right? Like here, sorry, let me change it this thing, yes, okay. It's something like this, okay? Yes, actually, it would be like this. Then you want to have something. It's a contraction form, okay? You see that in this case here. Oh, there is a rule that I was, I, I was forgetting mentioning. That is, see the diagonal. It's the exact this this is structure here, okay? It usually happens at the end of a higher degree structure. For example, the fifth wave of this higher degree structure that we will call one, okay? Um, so, motive diagonals, okay? And one rule that we have for impulse waves, motive impulse waves, is that the wave four should not retrace more than the level of, the, the, uh, of wave one here. Wave four cannot retrace below the level of wave one, okay? It can, but but by only by only by a week, and then we would call it a diagonal, okay? Because when you have the diagonals touching like this, uh, when we have the wave one and wave four touching like this in a diagonal, you have a motive diagonal, not a motive impulse. So uh, it's it's really smart to not allow for wave four. Uh, invading the territory of wave one here okay uh, here we have the diagonals so nice right we have some other examples I'm gonna talk about it when we cover the, the this is a correction let me show I don't want to talk about correction now correction we have different ways of okay here we have uh, when we don't count correctly five waves okay 
we have a top that we think that is here but instead of this we need to use the correct count i'm gonna cover this thing in a in, in detail in a in a future lesson so we have this rule of altern alternate uh rule of what alternation sorry yes alternation but i won't talk about it now what i want to show you guys is that we have a channel okay you see the temporary channel between the wave two and three here if you want we can we could form we could form a channel right why is it temporary because wave five can break it okay that's why we have usually this formation of a channel let me show you guys uh between wave two between one and two right oh, three here so it's it what happens okay we have this this channel and it can extend to and include wave four but normally it's what we have okay wave four is it doesn't touch the the boundaries so we have the wave three here one two three okay just like here it's a temporary channel then we have the final channel okay that's the one that we uh, it's gonna when the wave two here is gonna be the the bottom part part of it then one four three and five let's see they don't need to include in this case wave one okay so here we have something like this okay and of course i'm gonna push this thing down here in this case we have the wave four perhaps the, the time we had that we spent in wave four is gonna be a bit faster than we thought so here okay this is the channel the, the channel that they call final channel here containing the whole movement okay waves four. Oh, this is a really important rule but when we talk about correction i'm gonna remember you guys about this rule uh you see the previous wave two uh, a really nice spot to land is the well it's a guideline okay it, and it's like um a, a good tip to remember the wave of a higher degree the wave four of a higher degree or wave two usually falls to the level of the of the previous lower degree wave four so in this case here you have the wave four okay one two i'm sorry zero one two three four five we completed wave three wave four usually retraces to the level of the previous wave four okay this is another rule another nice guideline and here we have this thing right wave two is the same we trace to the previous wave four of the lower degree of the lower degree wave four this area here okay sometimes we the, the channel is not perfect and we have some throwovers this shows uh this is this is okay we if we have contain if the channel contains the wave one two three we will expect i'll throw over here on the fourth wave and the fifth okay nice um <clears throat> so again here is a nice picture that i would like to leave you guys with it because this is the psychology of the of elliot waves you see bottom large degrees question of existence survival depression war this this uh idealized elliot wave progression that is uh uh the, the 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 example by the book that elliot gives us this is like a really nice way to start understanding how the market behaves okay i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna put a link on the description for you guys if you wanna buy this book because of course yes it's a really nice book and important for us to read and if you haven't followed me on social media yet please consider doing so i would be really glad <laughs> okay and i hope you guys enjoy it thank you very much see you next one cheers